scene. Hi, I'm Jess from Jekka Black. Welcome back to our Makeup 101 series. This is part two. We'll be going through our Correct and Conceal palette and how to use it. A colour corrector is great for cancelling out any blue undertones. Our colour corrector is pink based, so you can use it around the eye to make you look a bit less tired if you have any dark under eye circles. And a concealer is used to cover blemishes, be a shadow coverage, um, under eye darkness, and our one can be used as an all over base. So you can get a concealer in a liquid form or a cream form and the, a concealer needs to match your skin tone so you need to pick the right shade for you. Um, doing that you can kind of test products on your jawline that helps kind of match the product to your skin tone. You can get different concealer coverage, you can get medium or to full coverage. So our concealer product is the Correct to Conceal palette that comes in six different shades and in the palette you have two products, a colour corrector and a concealer. So both products are buildable coverage so you can create a medium coverage to a full coverage depending on what you desire. So I'm wearing the Glow Drops Primer which we went through in our last Makeup 101 and now we're just about to begin with our base. We're going to start colour correcting and concealing. So depending on the shade that you use, you have different kind of colour corrector shades. So for a lighter shade, you'll have more of a peachy colour because there's a more of a blue undertone. Whereas the darker shades tend to be more orange because the undertone is more grey. So the undertone of the skin is normally where you have like the kind of under eye darkness. This is when a colour corrector is used to counteract that undertone of the skin. So you want to use the colour corrector on under eye darkness or if you're covering beard shadow you want to use the colour corrector on beard shadow because there tends to be a um, shadow and undertone um, around that area as well. So when applying the colour corrector you want to be using a small makeup brush that um, can be used to apply creams. So our product is a cream concealer so you're going to just take a small amount of the brush and then pat it under the eye. And as you can see, compared to the other eye, this has counteracted the undertone of the eye area. So right now you're using, what are you using to apply? So it's a Spectrum AO6 brush, uh -huh. um, that's like a fluffy makeup brush. Can you use a sponge on your fingertips? Yeah, so you can use a beauty blender sponge that works really well with um, applying a cream concealer. Or you can use your fingertips, but obviously as I'm applying on someone else, I tend to use brushes instead of fingertips. So it's fine for yourself? Yeah, it's fine for yourself. And if you want to build a coverage, it's actually easier to do that with a brush rather than your fingertips, because your fingertips warms up the product, so it's actually not applying as much. It's more of like for a more lighter coverage, you can use your fingertips. So then that's the colour corrector applied to the eyes. That's just one product applied to the eyes with using just one makeup brush. So the concealer can be used on smaller parts of the face, so if you have a blemish or if you want to cover any redness around the nose area, you can go in with a small brush to apply. If you want to cover the full face, you can use a beauty blender sponge or a larger brush. Um, so maybe you want to replace a foundation with the concealer, just because it's creamy and it can be used all over the face. Um, but that's personal preference. So using the same brush that I used for the colour corrector, I'm going to go in using the concealer on smaller parts of the face. So applying the concealer onto the brush and just going around the nose area. And you want to use this on any areas that have redness already, is that right? Yeah, so you want to kind of just apply a small amount to those areas and kind of pat it onto the area. And if you use the colour corrector on these areas instead, would it make them stand out more? Yeah, because it would like almost emphasise them. Emphasise them, yeah. See. So you want to use the concealer for this bar. And can you can you conceal as well over 
the colour of the Yeah, you can apply, if you want a more of a full coverage, you can apply the concealer on top of the colour corrector. So when you're, when you're covering the beer shadow, you want to apply the colour corrector and then the concealer on top just for a full coverage. But for under eye, it tends to be a little bit lighter, like because mm -hmm. you don't want too much makeup around that area. So if you want to apply the concealer all over the face, instead of using a foundation, then I would use a larger brush, and this is Spectrum B05, or you can use a beauty blender sponge. And going in with the brush into the concealer part of the palette, and just applying it evenly all over the face. So just kind of going and blending it in nicely, making sure it blends well into the skin. In our next video, join us as we go through contouring. See you then.